turn to business news now with Nona. Nona, Pumpkin Patch has been bought by an Australian online retailer, right? Right. Now, now we have been in here on previous occasions talking about the end of Pumpkin Patch. So what did they buy? What did well, they, get? they bought the brand and they bought the intellectual property, which is sort of like designs and, you know, the website, for example, pumpkinpatch.co.nz pumpkinpatch.com.au so those things and the brand the and you know some of the styles of what pumpkin patch so the other things that go with that and uh, the guy who bought it uh, the chief executive of a company called catch group they've got some really big Australian um, online website retail sites you can buy all kinds of stuff there uh, it kind of looks a bit like the warehouse online. They've got a site called Scoop On. They got one catch of the day, kind of catchy, huh? But anyway, they're going to be offering pumpkin patch uh, products on catch of the day, but also through the um, you know branded website. So they're bringing it back. They're even planning to open some. Uh, you know, stores in some key locations well, in the some, future. Some actual physical retail stores. That's right, yeah. yeah. So uh, not right away. And right now they've hired some designers and they're working on some new um, outfits and so on. For because this we forget, when Pumpkin Patch started, it was phenomenally successful, wasn't it? Yeah, and this fella uh, that I spoke to, he's the Catch Group Chief Executive, uh, Nati Harpaz. He says he personally loves that brand. And we have a little bit uh, from an interview I did with him this morning. Pumpkin Patch is a brand loved by every New Zealander and Australian. And especially, I mean, people like us, when we saw that the opportunity came around, uh, we, we have children, our children wear Pumpkin Patch. You know, the same day we're looking at the opportunity, I can see my seven-year-old wearing my 10 years old old, you know, Pumpkin Patch clothes, which goes to show that, you know, one of the things that Pumpkin Patch stood for was the quality. And if you can wear the same shirt or same pants, you know, four down, years later, um, it is a brand that people love and appreciate. Nati Harpaz, wonderful name. What did he pay for it? Uh, he's not saying. He says that's confidential. However, he said that he paid a substantial amount because there was a lot of bidders for it. Yeah. But he says the reason he got it over the others is because he loves the brand so much. It's going to keep the name. It's going to open a store. So, yeah, that's why. So that's the story of Pumpkin Patch. So wait and see, huh? Yeah. What do the markets do today? All right, well, actually, the top 50 index closed up just a touch, believe it or not, just two points. No one was surprised by the OCR announcement this morning, were they? Uh, well, first of all, get that seven. No, no one was surprised. Yep. So it closed up two points to 7,063. No, the market wasn't surprised by the OCR. And uh, so the New Zealand dollar is trading pretty much where it was yesterday. 70.4 US cents, 91.9 Australian, and 56.4 pence. Thank you, Nona. Lovely to have you in here, as always.